What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Harry Potter, Scream 6, Maxine, and round it out with Chucky Season 3. Just to kick it off, according to Bloomberg, Warner Bros. Discovery is close to a deal for a new online TV series based on Harry Potter. Now, this is according to two people with knowledge of the matter. They're saying that each season of this series would be based on one of J.K. Rowling's seven books. The people did not want to be identified since this show hasn't officially been announced, but the series would allow the writers to delve further into the world of Rowling's books, many of which are longer than 500 pages. Rowling would be involved in the series to ensure it remains loyal to her original material, but will not run the show day to day or serve as its primary creator. Now, here's my thoughts. While I see potential in this, it's hard to dismiss how early this is given how we are not that far removed from the end of the movie franchise and i know that several fans would argue that the tv show was always the way to go and not the movie franchise that millions of people like myself adore still the approach besides just that it seems like it's lacking because you could have tackled lore that remains untouched and the fact that you're not doing that it's upsetting to some people and i wonder how much of rowling's constant bs is impacting the creative plans that they are able to do because i could have sworn i saw reports about a desire to do a cursed child movie now whether or not those are actually true and whether or not they actually at one point did want to do a cursed child movie that's yet to be known but it just seems as though they have decided to just do a complete reset in an effort to kind of start up their own new take on the wizarding world but yet you could have done that by leaving the movies alone and creating a bunch of unique tv shows that are based on loose plot threads that maybe can breathe a little better in the form of a tv show like a story on the marauders or something about the first wizarding war maybe the origins of voldemort something about professor snape something that isn't just completely redoing what you can again argue should have been a tv series from the get-go but we're still so close to the end of the franchise I don't know. I, at some some part of me sees potential. The other part is like you should have done something else. Jumping into Scream Six, Scream Six has crossed 150 million worldwide, or it's about to anyway, at the global box office. Now, while that sequel continues to stay booked and busy, the alleged digital release date is April 25th. So, the rumor right now, according to if you go on to AMC and try to order a digital copy of the movie it's available on april 25th according to amc.com so that's our first opportunity of when we can get to have this film in hd at home and i know several of you cannot wait to make those fun edits that i always see over on twitter now i'll have to go check the movie out one more time in theaters before it leaves but the box office success continues to put a smile on my face since the crew endured a small amount of bs leading up to this release regarding stuff that just was out of their control now i'm going to remain hopeful that scream 6 does touch 180 million worldwide at least before at least theaters and while scream 7 still hasn't been officially announced it's all but confirmed at this point my guess is that they just want to have everything in order to make one large announcement besides just saying hey scream 7 is happening and then not having much to say after that like how they did with scream 6 because we didn't find out that jasmine melissa jenna and mason were back i think until after the announcement that of scream six so with this i could see them doing a scream seven announcement and simultaneously announcing some of the returning cast members nev campbell gail or courtney cox hayden pantier maybe patrick dempsey um and then again going off of the core four melissa barrera jenna ortega jasmine brown mason gooding and who heather martirazzo you know just having a cast of people to announce besides just saying hey scream seven is happening they're definitely working on stuff while we haven't officially had a greenlit to the public they're definitely working on stuff i have faith in that jumping into maxine maxine officially began filming yesterday on april 3rd according to production list the brief plot details state that it follows maxine who we know is played by mia goth after the events of x as the sole survivor who continues her journey towards fame setting out to make it as an actress in 1980s los angeles we know this will be the conclusion to Ty West's X trilogy, which began with X last year before we dived into the twisted mind of Pearl. One thing that this trilogy has done a great job of, in my opinion, is allowing the world to fall in love with the talented Mia Goth. Because I suspect that just like with Pearl, Maxine will be another deranged, wonderful character study that allows Mia to just completely go out there and steal the show. I'm still 
reeling in ways from that monologue she did in Pearl and just how that one sequence alone is enough for me to just completely invest in any product that this woman is in. She is just one of the best talents we have right now in this genre. So I do think that Maxine, again, will just be another deranged character study, but it's going to be done in a way that alludes back to Maxine's conversation with Pearl to kind of further show those parallels between those two characters. Because in X, there was a time when Pearl told Maxine she'd end up just like she did. Now, Maxine didn't know what she meant at the time. We all found out what she meant when we saw Pearl later that year, but she'll find out soon enough. I'm curious how much of this movie will actually commentate on the casting couch or any other dark corners of Hollywood, or if they'll have much to say about the adult entertainment industry, given all the X's in the title, time will tell what we will actually have them dive into and commentate on. But I think that Maxine out of the three, I think it could end up being my favorite, but I don't necessarily think it'll be better than, than X. That's just me. It could end up being the weakest, but Mia Goth might, again, just elevate anything that I have gripes with in the upcoming movie, which I am excited to see. I'm excited for Maxine, but I just don't see it outdoing X. Uh, there's a chance it could become my favorite, just given what Mia Goth is able to do in her role. So diving into Chucky season three last, this last session is just a rumor, but uh, I was told it was just shared with me. That Chucky season three will continue the eight episode format of the first two seasons. Now, that's worked out well in the past. So I say don't fix it if it's not broke. Now, I just want the series to touch base with those darker tones felt through the original film specifically and less good guy dolls fist fighting. <laughs> Although that was a funny bit in season two. I just want them to go back to a more serious approach and kind of bring that tone back. I don't want you to shift it in such a way where it feels detached from the first two seasons, but more of a serious balance and less comedic. Chucky season three begins filming later this month, and we know it is again going to return to the USA Sci-Fi Networks later this fall. As usual, I'll continue to post my reviews and weekly episode recaps like I've done for the past two years. And for anyone who follows me on Twitter, yes, I'll continue to tease you and have fun and share as much as I can without being too spoilery. Now, the eight episode format, that again is just a rumor. That's what was told to me. Whether or not it's true or not, we'll find out as we get closer to the release date, which the eight episode format, it's not broken, so don't fix it. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.